Unwelcoming, if not openly hostile, this territory is not one of classical beauty. Dark, dank, damp. The wetlands are wanting in distant horizons, creative contouring and luscious landscapes. Dark, dank and damp. They are host to most of the small, squirmy, slippery wildlife scorned by city sentimentalists. Moisture, in all its willful ways, permeates and prospers the inhabitants of this watery world. Reeds reflect rivulets and willows weep. Water reeds snake in time with tiny currents, while minuscule aquatic creatures insinuate and undulate their thoughtful roots to food, families and reproduction. But there she stands, feet firmly planted in this swampy scene, regally robed in red, heedless of a hem immersed, the witch of the wetlands, her universe and one to whom every denizen of this undeep answers. Depth defining staff in hand, she surveys the scene with narrowed eyes, untroubled by her cropped fringe of soaking hair, oblivious of mud oozing between her toes, or the tiny tadpoles worshipping at her feet. She is mistress of this marsh, and mother of its mysterious moods. She controls fish and flow and, if necessary, flood. Above all else, it is she who brings an ethereal glamour to a scene composed of little more than a mundane mire unrelieved by the golden gift of the sun.